Hello and good evening once again to another game Master Dave plays. We are continuing our co-op uh, disciple game with uh, Dominions 5. So uh, let's see what is going on. Um, so let's level up. We got to win this. <laughs> I don't know if we will. Uh, I, our friend Steve is getting heavy, heavy pressure in the south. So uh, we are going to try to go right. help them out Our best way we can. And um, uh, chat is open if you want to send me any messages. Okay, so here we go. Let's Elizabeth II has found two magic sites in Corbion. Cool. I'm running around with my disciple finding magic sites. I don't know if that's the most important thing I really need to do right now. But um, I am doing it so I can get a whole bunch of gems when I go back to make magic items or cast some. Um, uh, I can go up in the spell levels and also I can cast uh, different, um, what do you call it, uh, overarching spells. I can't remember what, domain spells or something like that. All right, so here is, one of my troops died. Uh, here is a battle in Imican. This is me. I'm playing Marverni. This is against Independence. So let's see what happens. All right, so I think I'm starting my March South, if I remember. I usually put on these team old squares things, detailed battle logs, so I can study what's going on. Uh, this is my troops. I've got some javelineers in the front. I've got slingers in the back. I think I might have some bare-chested warriors. We are up against... Uh, looks like these are lion tribe with no, pro no protection. Zero protection. Not that great attack skill. These are some short bows. What do these guys got? Also, zero protection. Even with a hide shield, zero protection. Weird. A um, little bit better defense skill. I should win this battle, I think. Pretty sure I'm going to. I've got Awakened Tattoos available to cast. So I think, yep, there we go. My guys are, yep. So a bunch of my guys got Awakened Tattoo stuff. Not all of them, but some of them. I've got one horseman running out there to, to throw a javelin or two. Looks like I need to get some more horsemen. Maybe I should write that down. There goes my slings. Taking out some guys. And then my javelin should do a number on these guys with no protection. Let's see what happens. Ooh. They are sure shooting a lot of arrows at me, and I'm not looking to see what kind of damage they're doing. Do they have javelins too? Is that what's going on? They do. It's like a javelin fight. I throw my javelin at you. One of my guys is brave right there in the middle. Racing in. There comes the cavalry. The fight develops. And he swings. And he misses. And he swings. And he misses. And he swings. Here comes more. Where'd that what happened? That guy... That guy broke morale already? So I should do pretty good against these guys because at least I've... Oh, I, oh, wait. I don't have any protection. <laughs> My job with the ears have no protection. Okay, anyway. Um, they have a shield. That gotta be good, right? I got a shield. Hey, we just got a couple new watchers. Uh, chat is open. Love to hear about your experiences in Dominions 5. Hit that follow button if uh, you want to get more gaming. I play more games than Dominions, although almost every day I put in a turn for this Disciple game that we're doing. All right, looks like I broke the center. Now it's time to... Ooh, 26 points of damage. Ouch. 20 points of damage. Ouch. It's time for these archer... Hello, I'm back here casting spells. Here we go. Here comes the archers. Let's see what kind of defense they put up. They sure are shooting a lot of arrows, I'll tell you that. 15 points of damage. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Hey, we just got some new viewers too. This is my disciple game. Uh, I'm playing with uh, four of my friends. I'm just doing my turn. My name is Game Master Dave. Uh, this is Marverney. Mar is the nation we're playing. Uh, somebody cast something. Somebody cast heal. Oh, independent armies are routed. See you later. We won the battle. We have won. Hey, it's Rich and Greg. Their archers are pretty good, you said. 
Well, this guy ain't... Oh, 17 points. One swipe of one of my javelin ears. Swipe. See you later. Hey, Greg. All right. I th I'm sure, Rich, we're going to be watching one of your, your battles pretty shortly. Unless, oh, no, you actually haven't taken your turn yet. Oh, yeah, there's a battle here. All right, so uh, we won that one. That's cool. This is, ooh, this is Josie taking on one of the big nations in Ardon. Let's see what happens. Josie's only got three territories, so he's decided to move out a little bit. He's been building up some stuff. So let's, ooh, he's got some heavy cav. Uh, Josie, you could put your cav on the wings. You could spread them out a little bit. Probably 14 protection. That is awesome. Defense skill, 18. Three attacks. These heavy cav are going to make mincemeat out of somebody. What's the snake tattoo? Yeah, magic adds magic resistance. These guys got 11. They're pretty good too. Uh, what do you got here in the back? Javelin ears? Oh, composite bows. Wow, they can shoot really far. Okay, let's see what you're up against. Oh. <laughs> I think you might win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Josie, excellent time to attack. Because here comes your cab. It's going to be like swipe, swipe, swipe. Oh, no. Dun, dun, dun. I think they have bronze armor. And there they go. Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, that was easy. <laughs> hey, you cast Awakened Tattoos. Josie, all right. We both got our Awakened Tattoos operating. Josie has those magical tattoos as well, so he won there. All right, now this is Rich attacking in the province of Umbro, attacking in the Independent, it looks like. Is your class over, honey? Yeah. Uh, my wife My wife just took a yoga class. No, it was more, it was, it was what? It was a senior fitness class, and those oh. little ladies ran circles around me. It was a senior <laughs> fitness class, and they ran circles around here. It was on Zoom for our local library. Rich, what are you doing? Yes, you have trample. You're going to die. I understand that this is a hero. Uh, I understand he has experience. I understand he's got 22 protection and 23 strength, but you only have one attack. I understand you gave him black steel plate. And I understand that you have beaten similar armies like this before, but this time, I predict, Rich goes down. Rich goes down. These troglites are doing really well for you, Rich, but this militia is going to go swipe, swipe, swipe. Trample! 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 Oh. Ooh, <laughs> wait a second. Down to 12 hit points, Rich. Trample! Oh. Trample! Oh, he's gonna win! Oh, no, he sights him. Say goodbye to your troglodyte. Say goodbye, say goodbye. All right, here is Tiernanog, or TNN, because I really have no idea how to pronounce Tiernanog. Attacking Steve. Steve is surrounded by three of the opponent. And uh, let's see if uh, Tiernanog's bringing the hammer. Doesn't look like they have that much stuff, but what does Steve have? Ooh, Steve's got even less. Two cavemen and a guy with glamour. Hmm... I think you're going to lose, Steve. Those cavemen actually, you know, they got great damage. Look, 28 club damage, and they have this heat on their fire resistant. One of the units he had had heat, I thought. But look, protection too. Ugh. Well, yes, but they broke Rich. He says, Rich says, I didn't have to kill all of them. I just needed them to break. True. True, true, true. But there was a lot of them. Yeah, Steve, you're going to lose this fight. Your cavemen went down <laughs> like melted ice cream. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Time to run, Steve. Time to run. Hey, uh, everybody, if you, everybody that's on my team, if you're watching this video, we all got to go <laughs> stop Steve from dying. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, unexpected event happened in Corbion. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the mysterious cult is gaining followers and influence. Priests should be sent to lead the lost into the fold. Only the strength of your divine presence will purge this evil from the land. Dominion minus two. Wonderful. Unexpected event happened in Reed. Rid, ride. A barbarian horde is attacked and pillaged. They killed 520 of my citizens. So. Oh, uh, hey, MJ Horn. Uh, so I am happy. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I'm Game Master Dave. Give us a follow if you want to watch future videos like this. I play a lot of the games too. But uh, I will show you. Uh, wait. Oh, no, I hit exit. That's not what I want to do. So you're asking during the combat, I'm assuming, MJ Horn, right? So let's go back to this one. Let's view this battle. All right. So now this here. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me back up. The three bars in the upper right-hand side of the battle, you can press that. That's your options for the battle. So this is your battle view and your battle logs. So I like to put on these team-colored squares so I can see what's going on. You can put on grid so you can see, uh, like, the movement. I also like to sh put on the show damage dots on the square because when you, when you zoom in, you can sort of see, like, if there's – it will have a bar on the unit. Oops, that's not what I wanted. There'll be a bar on the bottom of the unit of how much damage they've taken. So it'll be like little red dots. So if you got like one or two red dots, they've been lightly damaged. If you got a bunch of red dots, they're they're heavily wounded. You're welcome. And uh, there's also you could do standard battle log, standard. Why is there standard battle log and standard battle log? That's silly. There's detailed battle log and very detailed battle log. Very detailed battle log is battle log is awesome for um, checking out, uh, like if you're studying how a unit actually attacks and how they break through armor or how they defend, that's really good, but it's almost too much information. It has like all the random roles in it. Uh, unit overview is good too. I never look at it, but this lets you see all the units that are current, that are in the battle um, uh, and what and, and their hit points and their experience levels and stuff like that. That I never look at it, but it could be helpful to you. Cool. And that is what that is. Okay, how do I quit this? <laughs> I quit it over here. Quit battle. Okay. So back to this. Um, uh, an event, an unexpected event occurred in Carnag. Ooh, during the seasonal offering of the spirits of the earth, one of them has indeed appeared. Autophanus, the earth gnome, has joined our cause. Awesome. Here's when an omen was seen that spoke of the decline of Amaterasu, goddess of the celestial bodies. No, Amaterasu is awesome. Rumors of this ill omen have spread widely. Off with their heads! Hunt them down and off with them. Uh, uh, a large group of people have started to worship a false pretender. The leaders of this group were swiftly killed. There you see! My police forces are doing a great job. My executioners. But faith has decreased and unrest is rising. Arg, 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 arg. Unexpected event has occurred in Marvani. Oh, bad omens. No. And then I've got to fight these stupid barbarians. Barbarians don't have much protection either. We've been talking about protection a lot tonight. But they usually do awesome on that first swipe. Almost like the birds. I got some heavy cab in here. Huh. I should win this with the cab. I think. I think. There go my javelin cab. That's my light cab. Three heavy cab coming in. Okay, they took out some barbarians, but the barbarians, they got protection. Uh, yeah, they took out one. They got the mauls. Those barbarians got those mauls. They're pretty tough. Ooh, they just they swiped my heavy cab off the map. Look at that. Ugh, my other forces are fighting valiantly, but there goes my militia. This is just... um. My province defense. Yep. Yeah. Barbarians can be tough. Even though they don't have much. Look, they got seven protection. They got leather armor. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Do, 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 do. Run away. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. 
Uh, MJ Horn D, if you're still with us, uh, have you been playing some Dominions 5? You play with some friends or just against the AI? Playing with friends is awesome, but uh, it can also get hectic. Wow, look at these guys. Kaliasa or whatever has got 80 units on my border, and I am not protecting that border right now. That's, that's the territory my barbarians died in. Uh, I just moved my army south. Time to build up another army. Okay, so let's see what we got over here. Um, these are javelineers. Are these my javelineers? They are. So let's put them in that force. Uh, is this my gutaner? No, this is my priest. He is. What is he doing? I guess he's going to preach the teachings of the pretender god. Okay, now. Eh. Uh, Going south is becoming difficult. Um, army setup. All right. Bunch of javelineers. Okay. Da, da, da. Hey. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, okay. So MJ Horn said he's played about 40 odd hours against the AI. Um, yeah, I really like this game. It's very, very in depth. It's almost like a puzzle. You almost have to like figure out. Um, what's the best way to attack? Uh, hold and fire. That's interesting. Closest enemy. I like that. I want to awaken the tattoos. Uh, like figuring out the what is the best thing for your civilization and how to maximize it. And it takes, you know, takes some uh, practice, really. Takes definitely some practice. Okay, I wanted to go build, I think, a, a lab up here. I think that's what I was trying to do. I only got 640 in money. Um, this was my other little army I had over here. Uh, Javelineers. These are my bare chested warriors. He is not doing anything there that is interesting. He needs to go to a unit that is. Uh, Okay, I got to plug in my phone, which I'm using for my chat. I don't have a second monitor yet. I will eventually get a second and a third and a fourth monitor. <laughs> and then we will take the Twitch by storm or something like that. Um, I need to head south, but I do not have enough forces yet. 43 troops. Oof, oof, oof. We could go over here to try to get another territory, especially since I'm building a palisade here. They need to move. Let's see. Uh, let's. Uh, who is this? Oh, that's the the guy that no, that joined. I was like, what? So let's check him out. Oh, he's just he's just a good fighter. Let's let's move him down here. Um, why did I move this? Who's moving here? Who is moving? Oh, never mind. I understand. Okay, he needs to move. Uh, I guess to here. Hmm. I got some tough options. I hope that these guys don't attack. If they attack, then I am in some serious trouble. So we're going to need to be, I need to supply my current army and build up a new army. Uh, well, there you go. There's some slingers here. Okay. And by the way, MJ, if, uh, hey, Lord Sloth. Uh, oh, okay. Probably has some random followers in the garrison. I will check it out. Thank you. Cool. And, um. Yeah, so uh, we are experienced in uh, in this game, but not hugely experienced. He's got nobody. No, he doesn't have anybody there. Um, that's okay. We'll use him to a good advantage somehow. Um, so, uh, you know, I don't mind backseat, backseat gaming, so I appreciate it, Lord Sloth. That's awesome. Uh, if you're a super experienced player, hey, I once played on, uh, have you played uh, on uh, 
are you on like a Discord and have played with um, uh, a public group? I played with a public group and got, got destroyed. I joined the game halfway through and the guy that was playing was not doing so hot right by then. Um, uh, I got to figure out something to do. I got 43 troops. I don't, I need to take something over. I need to attack something. 50, 30. Uh, I really don't need to go there, but it's, I'm not going to survive there. So I think I will. I think I'm just, just to keep expanding can't be a bad thing. Uh, oh, okay, cool. So you used to, Lord Sloth used to play Dominions a lot, apparently, but is now in Age of Wonders Planetfall. Okay, cool. Oh, I just took this territory over. We got to add some, just, I, I usually go to 10. <laughs> I usually go to 10 defense in a province just as a base and build it up more than I need to. So uh, Lord Sloth and MJ Horn, if you join late, this is, um, I'm playing with four of my friends. This is Steve over here getting pressed in on, on three sides. He had like eight territories at one point. Now he's down to uh, five. So I'm trying to move south to uh, help him out. This is Josie, my friend Josie. He just expanded into his fourth territory. Uh, he's gotten a little pressure. This is my friend uh, Bill. Uh, he's going to expand north and south at the same time. This is my friend Rich. Uh, he's got this guy's over here, Ur, but other than that, he's going to expand and take over some more territories here. Um, so it, it's going to be a tough fight. Um, we chose a tough scenario. Um, okay, so actually I've got some forces right here. i got a fair amount of forces. 32 troops. If we move south... I think they should. Why did I move them there? Maybe they need to go north. Nope. Let's build up this forces in the south because that means I'll have about 70 together. But that also means that these guys aren't doing anything unless they go here. They should go here. Oh. Uh, no. Keep the pressure up. They might come and attack him. That's okay. Uh, I need to move this spy or the scout here. Okay. Uh, now, uh, I think I have moved everybody I can. I'm going to have some fights, some pretty even fights. Nope, he's got to move. I set him up. So now that was slingers. Let's see how far they can move. Oh, boy. Maybe they need to go over here. We'll start building that third army up north. Uh, uh, well, I don't know. Uh, boring. <laughs> Lord Sloth writes, sounds like it will be interesting then. Good to know you're not going to find Mar Verney boring. He spelled boring. B-O-A-R-I-N-G. This is only my second time playing Mar Verney, and I have not... Uh, built that boar. Another guy was on here telling me about the boar. So, but I'm heading towards it. Look, conj conjuration level five, so I can make that boar. Uh, all right. So I think that I've got everybody that I want to move moved and I do. So now it's time to recruit. Recruit. I think we realized we needed some more horses. So from our main capital, we're getting more horses. Uh, let's see what else. Actually, I think I need more uh, of these horn blowers. Let's get a couple of horn blowers. I have another recruitment point left. Do we have enough for this guy? We do. Yes. Looks good. Building another palisade over here. Um, and now we need to recruit up here. But now I have less resources here, so we should do basic stuff. So let's do a bunch of javelin ears. Uh, maybe an... Is there a commander in that spot right now? He, there is, but he's going to move. So... Do, 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 do. Let's get this guy. Oh. Okay. Not much. Can't build much. But and we just, That's because we just lost that territory, too. How many guys are there? 50 barbarians. We don't want to attack him with slingers. Okay, I think we are done. Statistics, nation overview, everybody seems to be doing what they're doing. 
Uh, okay, cool. So with that said, thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. Lord Sloth, if you want to give us a file, we'd follow. We'd love to We'd love to have you. You can uh, always turn notifications off if you want. I play other games too, like Out of the Park Baseball um, 21. I also play some Stellaris. I also, tonight at 11 o'clock, I'm sorry, 10 o'clock Eastern Time, we should be playing, unless we run into technical difficulties, some close combat. So we got a lot of things going on. So cool. Thanks for joining us. Give yourself 100 experience points. And until we meet again across the uh, internet, across the Dominion internet, uh, keep your arrows or keep your sling stones dry. Uh, keep your uh, gutaters ready to cast those awakened tattoo spells. And keep your uh, giant boars strong. Have a great night. Thank you.